Would you discontinue posting on a sex worker's website for an honest man? So I guess the question of is, course. would you give up your OnlyFans page for an honest man? Of course, as long as he helped me in the way that I need to be helped in. What does that mean? So he has to give you the money that you so want. So if he can help me financially to where I feel like that's not something that I want to do and he's going to be there for me, then of course. Why would I? I don't know. At least $4,000 a month then, let's say that. On top of whatever you make, the 80K. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't want to keep These are the words that you up. gave. No, no, I understand what I gave, but I'm gave, breaking though. it down to you and letting you know what it is. You're not breaking it down right. You talking in circles. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of Foolery. Let's jump right in this thing. All right. Ladies, at what age do y'all stop trying to be 20 and 25? I mean, I'm just trying to understand. I got this 38-year-old woman coming on this show trying to find somebody, but she's trying to, but she acts as if she's like 25, 20, 25 years old. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, when are you ladies going to just stop trying to act like y'all these young girls? You got a kid 19 years old. What are you doing trying to act like a young girl? But this is where we at, people. So this girl come on one of Kendra's show looking for a dude, of course, making 80000 plus and two kids, divorce, and... And you, you're a, a, a what? A doggone customer service rep. But you want the world. Oh, also, you just got your OnlyFans started. Yeah. So that's where we at, people. So I ain't going to give up no more than what it is. And I'm going to let y'all just jump in here and start checking this out. So before we get kicking it, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe, like, share, and notification bell. What so you can get the next video now? No further ado, let's get it. This young 20 year old, 38 year old, whatever cougar chick. I don't know. Yeah, hi, what's, what's, your, what's your name, baby? Oh, that's cool. My name's Sheree. Sheree, um, it's like Pookie said, folks better stop playing with Kendra. I mean, listen, my kindness is my silence. and Always remember that. Ooh, I feel like I look mad greasy, but what's up? <laughs> what's okay? What do you want me to call you, honey? Cherie. My name Mary Cherry. But what you want my me to call Mary you? Mary Cherry honey? on Cherie? Facebook and Mary Benz on Instagram. Okay, but the question is, what do you want me to call you so I can be clear? Cherie. Cherie. Okay. Cherie. And where are you calling us from, honey? Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. And why? Um. How old are you, love? I'm 38. 38? What you do for a living? I work from home. I work for a member contact center. Say one more time. I work for a member contact center. I work from home. A member contact center? OK. So we got Sheree, Rochester, New York, 38. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I got two kids. I have a 19-year-old that's in college, and I have a 14-year-old. OK. Are they both by the same man? No, two different. I met my daughter's dad when I was a teenager because I had a child when I was a teenager. And then I met my son's dad when I was a teenager as well. We were 19 going on 20. And he's been a father to her ever since we first met. Uh, something's not right with that math. She says she's 38. And she had a 19-year-old and a 14-year-old. Well, if you had a 19-year-old, yeah, you. I mean, yeah, you would be in, you would have been 19 when he was born. But the 14 year old, you wasn't a teenager. You was like 24 years old. So what is she, what is she trying to say? Like you wasn't a teenager, you were 24 when you had your daughter. Well, the 14 year old. And all that dancing, why are you, what's up with that? You almost 40 years old. Like, man. But, Something ain't right. 
Sounds the name right. Okay. Hey, you ever been married? Yes. I was married to my ex-husband for almost 12 years. When did you get divorced? Uh, we've been separated for about five, six years ago. Okay. Separated. Are you divorced? Oh, yes. Yes. When did you get officially divorced? Well, we've been separated for five or six years. We just got divorced in 2021. So you were separated? 2021 was like three years ago. Yep. We were already separated so, before then. We separated in 2019. Well, 2018, really, but 2019. Okay. 2019. Because we were trying to make it work. <laughs> I guess I'm just trying to make sure because I'm getting confused now. You said five or six years separated, but 2019 to 2021, I believe, is it five or six years? 19, no, it's not. Three years. No, so when we officially stopped being together, it was in like 2018, and then it lingered on until 2019, and then in 2021 is when we officially got divorced. Okay, fair enough. There I just go. want to make sure you're officially divorced, but now that we got there, okay. Yeah. All right, so Cherie, Rochester, New York, 38, mom of two children, one by her ex-husband, right? Yep. Okay, and she's, um, and what's your job again, honey? I work from I work for Triple A. I work from home. I'm in the member contact center, so answer emergency member calls. Member contact center. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was the zodiac sign. Virgo. Virgo. All right. Now, Sheree Rochester, New York, 38 Virgo, mom to two, one by her ex husband. She's a she works in member contact um, support center. I'm basically a customer service agent. <laughs> Ladies, man. Man, will y'all please, please stop trying to make your job more than what it is. I was sitting there thinking, like, is she a customer service rep? Because it's triple A, and you're not out doing anything with that. You're a customer service rep. All this technical terms. It's like this woman who, uh, she is a nurse's assistant. I don't know what she was. She was something at the hospital, but she had all these titles and it's like, no, you don't have each one of those jobs. It's just an additional job on your regular job. You know, so it's just like you saying you draw blood, but you are some kind of assistant or something in the office. So she's putting that down as this and this. Like, you no, know, it's like additional duty we call in the military. You just have an additional duty on top of your duties. That's all. But y'all trying to calculate all these titles, trying to make your job sound more fancy than what it is. You're a damn customer service rep, man. Sit down somewhere. And all that patting the hair and rubbing and... Oh, come on. Y'all funny. Okay, well, that's easier to say, honey. Customer <laughs> service people. Y'all be coming over here with these um, titles, child. Customer service Because that's people. what they said at my job. Okay, okay. Well, either way, now we're here. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? <sighs> Somebody who is honest, loyal, who understands that I got stuff going on, too, at the same time. And then I'm not very affectionate at the same time. So I want somebody who's very understanding. And that look good. You're not very I want somebody who's, like, ugly. You want somebody that's ugly? Not just, like, my ugly. Like, you know, like, just be attractive. Y'all remember that? I don't hang out with ugly people. Now, you see how Kendra was looking at her? Because she know if a guy had come on that show and said exactly what she said, but not opposite, like he want a woman, like I don't want no ugly woman, you know, not no mad ugly. Those comments would have women been, get him off there. He don't need to be on that. The guy could be good looking, they still would talk about him and call him all kind of names. Because it doesn't apply unless... You know, if it's not a woman, it doesn't apply to the women. Like this guy said, uh, body shame is not a thing until you say something to a woman. So y'all can say it all to us, but we can't say anything back to you. And with her saying this, making herself sound real shallow, you know, with the white refrigerator in the back, like the oldest damn refrigerator you can think of. Is sitting in the damn back corner and she talking like, oh, I want all this and that. Come on, lady. Come on. 
That's why you're sitting up in the kitchen and not another room. Okay, he has to be attractive. Cherie? Hello? My bad, Kendra. I'm getting phone calls. You know it's Friday. Oh, okay. So you say you want him to be attractive? Yeah, like, I don't want him to be, like, short, right? I'm 5'5", five, five, so you could be taller than me and be 5'8". I just don't want nobody shorter than me. Um, okay. I don't want nobody with like mad acne and stuff like that in their face or somebody who doesn't know how to care, carry themselves or I want like somebody who like walks in confidence and like has good hygiene and takes care of yourself and stuff like that, you know, okay. and puts me first okay. above any and everything. And puts you, so could he have children? Of course. I want to have one more child. Okay. Well, if he has a child already, this year. would you be okay? Huh? I said this year, next year. Now, not to cut it off that quick, but it's something she said real quick. Now, she's 38 years old. She don't have no one in her life right now as far as a partner. And you say you want to have a kid this year or next year, this year. Either way, within a year. How? So you're supposed to meet someone and have a kid the same year. Think about that, lady. Y'all, y'all think about what you just said. So you gonna mean tell me you gonna know somebody that well that you wanna have a kid at thirty eight years old? When you have a nineteen or fourteen year, why you wanna start over? I have no freaking idea. But you ain't said nothing about marriage. So you wanna kick out another kid, three baby daddies? Then, well, I mean, what what are you doing? Again, you're not. 20, 25, you're 38. And you're talking about meeting somebody and having a kid. I, I tell you, something's wrong, man. It's in the damn water. It's in the water, that big old... Let's see the, the chain. You're 38. Next year. Now, if he has a child, would you be okay if you, you came after his child? Of course. Okay. Um, of course, because nobody's going to be for mine. Okay. Oh, the reason I said that is because you said you want a man that's going to put you first. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Not when it comes to the kids, though. That's different. Okay. They're telling me to ask you, the cousins are telling me to ask you, do you have an OnlyFans? Yes, sir. What? There it is. That's why she on here. That's why. The 38-year-old OnlyFans single mom welcome your old ass starting only fans <sighs> let's see what else man i'm gonna say something about this but let's see. you do all your only fans nothing really i just post the same shit i got on facebook such as just regular pictures of myself okay all right, she does have OnlyFans for the cousins. I yeah, just started it. I'm trying to get good at it. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. But if y'all want to watch me, y'all can pipe me up. Y'all can send little requests and stuff like that. Then I can get it going. You feel me? Well, we're not here to promote your OnlyFans page. I was just um, <laughs> figuring out. I'm just saying if y'all going to talk about it, be about it. Now, this is the part you ladies don't seem to understand with this OnlyFans stuff. So y'all look at, oh, she getting her money, making her money. You know, y'all don't turn this S work type stuff into it's okay. But until you have boys, when you have sons, it ain't going to be okay. Because her son is 19 and in college. She's on an open platform. Kendra is national, uh, international. She's on there telling everybody she's going to start an OnlyFans account. Pipe her up, she said. She doing this. Everybody know to make that money, you're going to have to do more than take some damn Facebook pictures. Now, how you think your 19, about to be 20 year old son going to feel when he finds out his dear old mommy is on OnlyFans? Or better yet, she done tried to tell people her, her name. I mean, they'll find it. And then his friends get it. Like, she's a nice-looking woman. She's very petite, nice-looking woman, pretty smile. So they're going to look her up. 
And now his homeboy's looking at his mom. Boobs, booty, coochie, who knows? But now his homeboy's looking and that's what I'm saying, ladies. That's the part that y'all don't get. That's what's going to drive her son to curse her ass out. He going to tell her to take it off. Take it down. If he any type of son, he going to tell her to take it down. No. And if she keep it, she's going to be wrong. But this going to be a damn problem in her life when he finds out. I, don't, I can just imagine my son finding out my wife had her OnlyFans and he found out. Oh, shh. Oh, he coming. He jumping that little car and hauling ass up here. Say again, honey. I said, I'm just saying if they're going to talk about it, then be about it. Help support. That's fair. Now we'll move forward. What are your deal breakers? Um, Like everybody else, a liar, cheater, somebody who's in the street, somebody who don't know how to sit their ass down somewhere, or somebody who doesn't have their priorities in line. <laughs> You feel like you have your priorities in life? Yeah. I mean, not all the way, but to the, for the most part, yeah. So what's the man that you wouldn't date that doesn't have his priorities in life? Um, Kendra, I'm from Rochester, right? So where I'm from, there's a lot of dudes out here who, like, they don't got it together. Like, they just, they worried about the wrong thing. They worried about how they look. They worried about shoes. They worried about clothes, like they worried about the wrong things in life instead of like growing, maturing, building and things like that and invested in themselves. Okay. okay. Well, those are the men that are trying to talk to you, it seems like. Not really. It's different types, but that's just the majority of the men that are in Rochester. You don't know Rochester, so we're not going to do that. We're not going to do what? I said, you don't know Rochester, so we can't really go there. Well, no, you know Rochester. What I'm asking you, what I do know is I'm having a conversation with you. So you describe a certain type of guy. And my question back was, are those the men that are trying to court you? There's different types of men that try to court me, but I feel like there's a majority of men who live here who just don't got their shit together, who just, they just float. And I don't know if it's the generation or not. Like, I don't know what's going on, that's, but it's okay. like. And, and, and not to cut you off, but that's fair. Now, my question is, do men that have their shit together try to court you? Yes. What's up with those men? Why can't you date them? Um, I feel like I live in a small town, so the men who do have their stuff together, they're trying to holler at me. They got, like, too many. Like, they just think they all of that when I think I'm all that, too, and I got my stuff together. So it's just like it's not going right. That, that sounds like code for... Uh... They're not feeling you like that. They're not. Let's just be real or you'll be with one. Who wants a 38-year-old OnlyFans chick if you got your shit together? And she talking like she's she got so much. You a customer service rep who got an OnlyFans account at 38. What? Who? What dude that got his stuff together want that? A old, it gotta be an older guy you're looking for. Who wants to walk into the? Like, hey, what's up? I, oh yeah, I'm OnlyFans, and I. Oh no, 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 no. Hell no. What? What's wrong? That. <laughs> like they think they can have multiple women, but I feel like you know I got it going on too. So you can't do that with me. Okay. So the men that do have their stuff together, they just don't want to be in committed relationships. Okay, so they will be in a committed relationship, but they want to play on your top. So they want to be with you, but they want to do whatever they want to do at the same time and like put you up and then like play in your face like on the side a little bit. You feel me? Well, wouldn't that not be a committed relationship then if he wants to still yeah, do other Yeah, women? definitely. I mean, well, it's a I committed relationship they because they'll, they will make you their main and then they'll put you up and then you will be a certain type of way and y'all be together, but then they want to play and do other things on the side and then lie about it. So well, then that's it's like not, a committed okay, so relationship, me, but it's not. I They're guess, cheaters. Okay, well then let me then, let me be very clear when I talk to you, I guess. So the men that yeah. have it together, you're saying they want to have sex with more women than just you. Basically, yeah. 
Okay. And you want a man that has it together, but wants to only have sex with you and only you. Period. Okay. So just be honest with me real quick in the comments. Y'all let me know. Does this sound like an almost 40 year old woman talking? Just the things she's saying it and how she's saying it. Does the very street slang. She's very street to be almost 40 years old. And you saying you want a top guy and what he's going to get is a very street, almost 40 year old woman on OnlyFans. And you want him to be committed to you and only you while you take it off on OnlyFans. And I know some of you that, well, it ain't like she having SEX and all this other stuff. No, it's, it's worse because you're showing the world everything. If he out having SEX, he having with one person and it ain't, ain't on the internet. So, no. That's why she don't understand this is why you're not getting them in the behavior that you're having right now. The way you're talking. If I'm sitting down with a woman almost 40 years old, I'm not trying to sit there and look like and figure out what you're trying to say because you want to sound like you're 25 years old. Like, you should be out that stage now. We should be having, like, real... That's why Kendra are having a hard time understanding what she's saying. And she said, well, I need to be clear and figure this... Because she's saying stuff like... Kendra, Kendra 45 years old. She's not trying to... Like, she's just a couple years on, over this woman. And she's like, she's talking to a 20-year-old chick. That's what I'm saying. Y'all got to get... Y'all got to stop trying to act like y'all these young girls because y'all small and ain't got your body fixed or whatever you done did to yourselves. You know, some of y'all got little snapbacks. You get your little body back quick. But you're still aging. I mean, it's like a dude go get in shape, get ripped up. He can't come out and act like he's 20 years old. What's up? He'll get laughed up out the damn club, man. Nobody want to be the old dude in the club. Come on. Okay. All right. We got to the looks. Do we got to make a certain amount of money? Um, with the way the economy is right now, I will hope that you at least make 80K. Okay. Could he have children? Yes, of course. Do you want more kids? One more. One more. All right. Let's do the Kendra cam. Ooh, wee. Okay. Gosh, okay, hold on. Okay, I like you have a nice shape. All right. Okay. So, Shereen, Rochester, New York, do you want him to be in Rochester? Not really. Okay, you're willing to travel. Um, 38, what's the age range you would date? Um, I'll say 35 to like 55. 35 to 55. All right, when was your last relationship? Uh, Three years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Not answering it. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, uh, My patience. Um, Not being so tick for tack. Because if you do something that makes me feel a certain type of way, then I'm going to do something to make you feel a certain type of way. And like I said, my patience and um, stop procrastinating so much. I'm a big procrastinator and I'll do things at the last minute. Okay, say it again. Procrastination. Um, so, oh, they're telling me to ask you this. DT said this. He says, she's pretty, Kendra. Would you discontinue posting on a sex worker's website for an honest man? So I guess the question of is, course. would you give up your OnlyFans page for an honest man? Of course, as long as he helped me in the way that I need to be helped in. What does that mean? So he has to give you the money that you so want. So if he can help me financially to where I feel like that's not something that I want to do and he's going to be there for me, then of course. Why would I? Okay, so you would give up OnlyFans only if he's going to supplement the money that you would miss from it? Um, Pretty much. Is there a dollar amount to that? Um, like I said, just make 80, at least 80k and be able to support me financially. I'm not I just got started on OnlyFans. I don't have I don't have no motion yet. So 
<laughs> so how would you know? Because, okay, because you said that you would give it up if he's going to support you financially. So how much money would you expect a month in order for you to let go of OnlyFans? Oh, like as far as like the, that, that means that I'm supplementing the OnlyFans for what I'm making on OnlyFans for that person. That's what you're saying, right? And I'm telling you no, that. No, no, no. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what you're saying, Sheree. I asked you the question. DT sent $5 for me to ask you this question. And the question was, would you discontinue posting on a sex on a sex worker's website for an honest man? I don't feel like it's you're a sex worker's website, though. But go ahead. Okay, either way, either way, you said you would if he was going to supplement the money. That's what right. you said. So I'm asking you, how much money is that to supplement? I don't know. At least $4,000 a month, then. Let's say that. On top of whatever you make, the 80K. So I want you to be clear because I, you know, I want you to make sure you know what you're saying. So you would give up only fans if the guy is an honest man and giving you 4K a month. It's really not about the money like that, Kendra. So like, it's really not that. It's just that if you can financially support me, it's really not a dollar amount. I'm saying something just to say something, like to put something on it. It's really not a dollar amount. As long as you can help me financially support myself and my child, then it really doesn't matter like that. As long as you're there for me and we have an understanding within each other, it's really not that deep. Like I said, I just got started on it, so it's not that serious to me yet. Okay, this to my guys. Does it sound like the women of today only seems like they it's like they beg more like everything is taking care of them and their kids she's saying this dude should give her an additional four thousand dollars on top of his eighty thousand which is a, a hunt like a forty eight thousand more dollars so you want him to come off 128000 now a year because he got to supplement your OnlyFans that you're not even making four grand on a month. You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. But the only thing she keeps talking about, well, as he can take care of me and my kids. Your kids have fathers. Hell, the other one, dad, you said the dad's in the life. So why, I don't understand all this, y'all need somebody to take care of y'all all the time. But y'all claim y'all the most educated, y'all got the most jobs, y'all make the most money. But I have yet to meet a race of women that beg so freaking much. I have not. Every time I turn around, it's about buying for them, getting for them taking care of them, doing this, doing this, doing this. It's like, damn, do y'all do anything for a man? I mean, really, let me know, ladies, if whoever, the 25% is it, let me know. Do y'all do anything for, for your man besides beg? Because they're getting so old, and y'all don't even understand when y'all doing, them young boys that do that stuff, them scammers and all that, these older men ain't looking for that because they're not old, old like that. You know, they ain't no old granny ass dude. You like 50 year old dude, 50 year old dude still got it going on. He ain't looking for this 40 year old, 38, I mean, 40 year old OnlyFans chick to my help her pay her bills and take care of her kids. He's done with all that. Why would I, why would I want to get back with somebody with a bunch of kids or whatever situation when I done raised my kids? And I'm just living my life now. Why would I want to do that? And that's how the men think when y'all talking about all this stuff. And that's why she's not getting no one because they can read between the lines. It's like, who wants this? She's talking about she wants me all the way up to 55. You think a 55 year old man that got his stuff together wants to come in here and take care of another one? A 40-year-old woman who be on OnlyFans and want to be treated like a queen? You got queen on here, on your neck, queen. Queens aren't on OnlyFans. This shit's so sad. I'm so tired of it, man. Y'all need to chill, man. Y'all old women, you're not young. Stop it. You're not young. Act your age. I'm going to pull that one on you. Act your damn age. So I, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't These are the words that you up. gave. No, no, I understand what I gave, but I'm breaking though. it down to you and letting you know what it is. You're not breaking it down right. You talking in circles. 
I'm not. Kendra, you are. I'm just letting you know. No, you no, are. Because you, you, you try to bring it down to a dollar I'm amount. I'm trying to break it down. I'm trying to get It's really clear. not a dollar no, amount, no, but no, I said no, it's no. worth thousand on the top of the 80K, but it's really not like that, like that. It's just like, well, then, if you can help to honey, support me in my race. financial endeavors and what I have going what on, we not gonna do, Sheree, What we're not going to do is you're going to watch this back, and I'm, all I'm doing is asking you to clarify your Kendra, don't do me like that. No, I'm going to do you like that, because what what you want that you're going to do is... Now, look at this, man. This the mature woman that wants a man that got his stuff together. You still make faces like a child. You're making faces like a child when someone is talking to you. How mature are you? Look at this. <laughs> you're going to control the words that are coming out of your mouth, and you're going to learn how to be a little bit more respectful. Shoot. Now you on my time, and you on my show. Yes. Yes. All right, you got it. So the question was clear. What you said was you would give it up if he gave you money. I'm asking you clearly what, mo how much money would that be? I didn't so say you the one going in the circle. So figure out what you me. want so you can get you said it and ask for a I said if he could financially support me. Child, child. Let me go. What's the last question? Why would a man be lucky to be with you? <sighs> oh, that gets you. Okay. Please. Please um, educate us all. Why would a man walking and breathing be lucky to be with your ass? Because my name is Cherie. And there you have it. How could he reach out to you? Not on here. No, 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 no. You're not putting that out on here. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No, Cherie. See, Kendra God has had enough of her just too much and, and ladies now she laughing and being goofy or whatever you almost 40 years old and another 40 year old woman looking at you like what the f i'm telling you some of y'all out here trying to play that role y'all around that same age now 30 to 40 42 30 i'm mean, sorry 38 to 42 Y'all in that stage thinking y'all still got it going on and all the men should be, why the men ain't trying to talk to y'all? Y'all in that stage now? It, because it's your behavior. Your behavior, how you carrying yourself. That's what it is. You in the older man status. Now, the younger man don't want it. The older man's going to have to get it. But y'all had matured enough to attract the older man. So the older man looking at you like, I don't have time for this. That young lady's nothing but problems. She probably still in the clubs. She got neck tattoo and all this. Like, did you have all that when you was married? Or oh, this the new you? And you done got back out here. You hadn't dated nobody in three years, but you can't tell Kendra last time you've been with somebody, you know, sexually. Which tells us what? That you've been getting it in in between. So come on, man. Stop with all that crazy mess. Nobody want that. Nah, not on here. No. All right, guys. So that's it for me on this. That's enough of foolery for the night. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. How how would you handle it for 38, 40-year-old woman come to you and start talking to you like this? What, what would you do? I just want to know what y'all would do, you know. I know what I would do, but what would you do? Well, guys, y'all know what time it is. It's time for your boy to get up out of here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification button. Share the video and comment, 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 because that helps move the algorithm. So I need to know what you guys thinking. Just put it on, the, put it in there, all right? So as always, always, and always, it is your boy once again. Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace.